Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James, and in this video, let's talk about something that Robert Kirkman said in the letter hack section of his comics. You know, the Walking Dead comic has finished. It's over. The original run, it finished before the show even ended. The original comic was done in black and white. Yep, it was a black and white comic. No color to it. But now, Robert Kirkman is reissuing, re-releasing the entire run of the Walking Dead comic in color, and it's called The Walking Dead Deluxe. The letter section, letter hack section that people ask questions, that he talks about how he was thinking about a character or a scene or something like that, he puts those thoughts and ideas and answers in this section. And the most recent one, and I've done videos on stuff he said in the deluxe stuff before, several things he's put out a lot of good information there and the most recent he was asked about an animated series faithful to the comic and he said yeah that would be cool let's check out the article several people's covered this um, i'm going to read from the screen rant article so robert kirkman said i think it would be a lot of fun to do a faithful animated adaptation but i don't know amc's appetite for such things so, in response to a fan letter in The Walking Dead Deluxe number 79, Kirkman said he would like to see an animated adaptation of the comic series. Um, faithful. Faithful adaptation. But he's not sure if AMC would want to pursue a uh, readaptation of the material in a new format. And I think they probably would. And why he's talking about AMC and not HBO or some other uh, company doing it is because AMC has the TV rights. And it doesn't matter... If they want to animate the comic book, it doesn't matter if they want to make a movie. It doesn't matter, you know, if they want to do a new spinoff. You know, all this talk about HBO going to reboot the show, that rumor has recirculated every year for the past three or four years. You guys can believe it if you want to. I've not seen any concrete proof, and I just don't think it can happen because this is why they're talking about AMC for the animated uh, comic if they do it because they have the rights. AMC bought the rights, and they own it. I don't think it reverts back to Kirkman after so long. I don't think, you know, he's able to have part of it. I think they have it. I think he turned over television. Like, he could do another comic. He could continue the comic. He could have a spinoff comic, you know, a Negan comic, whatever he wants. But he can't do TV stuff. That's AMC. He sold the rights to TV, which... If there was even an uh, uh, animated adaptation, AMC would have to do it. That's my understanding. From the article, it says Kirkman went on to explain how focused he is on Invincible Season 2, praising the work he's already done and bringing The Walking Dead to live action. However, despite the series' success on AMC, the absence of major comic characters like Rick and Carl in the final arcs of the show makes it a very different experience from the source material. The live-action universe is also ongoing, with multiple spin-offs continuing the story beyond the comic-inspired ending. So, some good things about that, you know, um, for an example, as the series would use voice actors instead of physical ones, it would be easy to replace actors with sound-alikes if they decided to leave the show. This means story arcs that had to be remixed in the live-action version could be presented faithfully in an animated format. So, they could stick to the comic, be true to the comic, even if an actor left, even if an actor died, you know, even it doesn't really matter. They, with an animated format, they could stay faithful. So I would really love that. And in color, hell yeah. So it's cool that he was asked about it. It's cool that he said, yeah, he would do it. He doesn't know what AMC feels about it. You would think they've already talked about this. You know, you would think this was brought up before probably. And you'd think maybe they even actually have an idea to make this happen. But there are a lot of questions to me arise from AMC. Like, you know, they, they do Tales of the Walking Dead. They do these um, spinoffs going further into the future. And that's great. Continuing the story, cool. I like that aspect of the Walking Dead universe expanding, getting bigger, going on into the future. That's awesome. But w the money, the gold... The honey in the jar is early apocalypse. If they would start new with a new series, I know, um, you know, it would be not necessarily connected with any of the other characters. But following a soldier from the get-go, following a cop from the get-go, 
and the soldier may be seeing how the military crumbled down. The cops may be seeing how that infrastructure of first responders and hospitals and cops and everything started to fall. Him trying to save his family, you know, there's a lot of things. You could just follow some Joe, you know, a mechanic. You know, it doesn't matter if it's the early days of the apocalypse. I think that's where the gold's at. I think that's where most of us fans of The Walking Dead would love to see more story. Not in the future as much as the initial happening. But a faithful adaptation of the comic would be badass. Would be totally, totally badass. I would love that so much. You would know what's going to happen, but it doesn't matter. Uh, to me, you know, anyway. And I definitely want it an animation where they're moving around, you know, not that still frame where the background's moving, but the 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 characters aren't. Or, you know, some I don't want no weird-ass animation, you know. Give me a good, at least decent, everybody's moving, everything everything looks normal, kind of, sort of, not, not detail, detail. Just not no weird animation, you know. Do it somewhat normal. But hey, that was an awesome thing to read uh, this day, first day of the new year. That's when this video is posted, uh, day one of 2024. It should be a big year. We're getting the spinoffs. We're getting Rick back. We're getting a lot of cool things coming. So I'm looking forward to this year, and I hope you guys are too. As far as your personal lives as well, hope everything's going cool and blessings to all. But very excited for the Walking Dead universe this year. Hope you're here with me. And hey, let me know what you think about this news down in the comments below. And you know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.